Hello friends and welcome to yet another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will study how to use Raoult's law to construct a PXY diagram. This is Professor Arvind Prasad. Let's take up a problem. The problem is assuming Raoult's law to be valid, draw the PXY plot at 90 degrees Celsius for chlorobutane, chlorobenzene mixture system. The vapor pressures are given here. First, let us enter the vapor pressures. So, we can define for chlorobutane the vapor pressure as, which is a function of temperature, equal to So, that is the vapor pressure of chlorobutane. Now, let us check whether the equation is giving us proper output. Let us check it at 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, we have done a slight error here. We have to add plus here. That is it. And that is it. The pressure is 142.711 kilo pascals. Now, let us run all the cells. And let us write an equation for the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene. So, we copy this equation and we paste it. And we modify it. So, That is the equation. Now let us check what is the output it is given. And the output is 23.28409 bar. Let us check the equation once. All the values are right. All the values are right. Now we have the vapor pressures. Now using Raoult's law, if you want the Px curve, it is going to be equal to x, the mole fraction of benzene, into the vapor pressure of chlorobutane, uh, beg my pardon, x is the mole fraction of chlorobutane. So, enter the temperature plus 1 minus x multiplied by the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene at 90 degrees Celsius. Now, let us write the equation for pressure with respect to the concentration 
in the vapor phase. This is going to be a function of the vapor concentration in the liquid phase by Raoult's law. And therefore, we are going to write it as 1 over the mole fraction of chlorobutane divided by the vapor pressure of chlorobutane at 90 degrees Celsius plus 1 minus divided by the vapor pressure of chlorobenzene at 90 degrees Celsius. Let us test this equation. at a mole fraction of 0 0.1 and we get 30.6964 and uh, if we test the equation for Px at 0 0.1 we get 39.6818 well the equation seems fine and now let us go ahead and draw the plot. So we put Wx draw 2D. So the color for Px is, is equal to red and Let us go ahead and plot it. Let us see all the brackets are in proper place. Well, it is done. Now, let us do the second plot. This is the Px plot. Now, let us draw the Py plot. So, let its color be blue and There we are. So we have the Px and the Py plot. The Px curve is the red line and the Py plot is the blue line. Now, this is the plot we have. And as we can see, the Px plot is over the Py plot. So this was a demonstration on how we draw a PXY plot or a PXY diagram using Raoult's law. Now, what is the information that we get here? Supposing we have a mixture, a liquid mixture at 0.4 mole fraction of chlorobutane. So if that mixture is say at a pressure of 120 kilopascals. If we slowly reduce the pressure on it and get the pressure roughly to 80 kilopascals, it will start boiling. And further, if we reduce the pressure and get it roughly to around 40 kilopascals, the boiling will be complete and below this pressure it's going to be a superheated vapor so that was the end of my lecture hope you have learned something from this lecture how to draw a pxy plot and how to understand it have a great day guys bye